Well, he has already re-imagined um, the hand dryer and the vacuum cleaner, but tonight the British inventor Sir James Dyson confirmed that he wants to take on an altogether bigger challenge. The billionaire says he's working on an electric car and hopes to launch it within three years. Our technology correspondent Tom Cheshire reports. Let's play spot the difference. Here you have a vacuum cleaner. And here you have an electric car. Apples and oranges, surely. Sir James Dyson doesn't think the gap between the two is that big after all. Today, he made an announcement in an email to employees. Dyson has begun work on a battery electric vehicle due to be launched by 2020. We've started building an exceptional team that combines top Dyson engineers with talented individuals from the automotive industry. The team is already over 400 strong and we are recruiting aggressively. I'm committed to investing £2 billion on this endeavour. The project will grow quickly from here, but at this stage we will not release any information. That's rather cagey. And just earlier this month, in an interview with Sky News, Dyson was giving nothing away. I'm not allowed to tell you that. I'm intellectual property people won't let me tell you that. But, I mean, I think it's well known that we're working on solid-state batteries. We don't comment on products that we might or might not make. The car will be cheap, not high-end, according to Dyson, and the company won't team up with an existing auto manufacturer. That might seem brave. For Hinwai, have a look at this. It's not an electric car, it's a patent for a handheld Dyson vacuum cleaner, but under the bonnet, it's actually not too dissimilar. You've got your motor and you've got your battery. And batteries and motors are crucial technology. When it comes to an internal combustion engine, the old sort, there are 2,000 moving parts in that vehicle. When it comes to an electric vehicle, though, there are only 20 moving parts. It's a lot simpler, and expertise in battery and motor technology becomes relatively more valuable. And Dyson's betting it's got that expertise. Dyson has already made a big bet on batteries, investing £1 billion in research last year and buying SACT3, a battery company. Still, it'll be entering a very crowded market. The California company Tesla kick-started the electric car revolution. Manufacturers spooked by their progress are trying to catch up. Volvo and Jaguar Land Rover have both said all their cars will soon have an electric motor. Uh, Dyson aren't traditionally an electric vehicle company, so to go from nothing to having a working vehicle that's trialled uh, in that short amount of time is quite challenging because you do have to consider that testing something in the lab might be great, but putting it onto a vehicle where it shakes around, where it's hot, where it's cold, uh, isn't easy. Dyson didn't always dream of vacuum cleaners. In the 1980s, he was designing prototypes to make exhausts cleaner. Can we have a look at what you've collected down in this filter? Yes, well, I'll just take the collector off. And down here we've collected, well, certainly an egg cup full oh, of nasty is soot and acid. That is disgusting. That greener, cleaner vision has been a long time coming. The next step is turning it into a reality on the road. Tom Cheshire, Sky News. Liz Dawn, who played the formidable Vera Duckworth in Coronation Street,